Alright guys, so hopefully you saw my last video of <clears throat> the unboxing on the Alien Gear Sport Band, Sport Tug Belly Band. Well, here I have a setup and I'm going to show you guys how it looks, um, wearing it on the body, either having the gun on the side, appendix, or right aside of your hip. Now, if you saw my last video, this wasn't on here, which... I am doing it on my Sig P365 no magazine. No round in the chamber. So this was basically a thumb release. If you've never had an Alien Gear product, this gun will never ever come out of here without you when, until you depress on this. So the thing is, if I have it on my, on my body, I can't get, you, you'd have to reach and kind of press like that and take it out. You, so it's sitting, let's say if this was on your side, you know, you can't really get a good grip on it. Especially for right-handed, left-handed, I, you know, I, I can't speak on that, but I think I'm gonna end up taking it off. I, I ended up putting it on, which is great for you guys, because then you're gonna see how to put this on. Originally, it comes with this, and you can add retention by turning this in the little knob right here. So <clears throat> I'm gonna show you guys how to remove that. I'll show you guys how to put it on the band. Then I'm gonna just show some clips of me in basketball shorts and you can see how how it looks um just by using it just this little time i've had i don't think i'm gonna return it i might end up keeping this um i'm a big fan of belly bands um this is the first belly band with an actual shell covering the trigger so my other belly bands i've never carried one in the chamber because it's fabric and it's resting right on the trigger and you know, God forbid, get enough pressure in dirt and make it go off. Well, you're not going to have a, a good day. And here with this, 100% sure going to carry one in the chamber all the time. So definitely get this. Even if you don't like it, 30 day test drive, forever warranty on any part. And... I don't think I'm returning this one, honestly. So, without with that being said, to remove this piece, you take this twist knob off, this twist knob off. Okay. You remove this piece right here, it slides out, put it down, and this comes off of this. And this is basically, you could go to Alien Gear. Um, the cool part about them is if, like I said, I, I got a Glock 19 uh, Gen 4. I could go onto their website and I could just buy me the Glock 19 shell and I can attach this to it. So as fast as you saw me take that on, take it off, that's all it requires to switch it off. Now, <clears throat> I have to slide this piece off. And, and here's one bolt. Um, the Allen wrench you need comes already in the kit. So you don't even need your own personal tools. So take the screw off and this comes right off. Uh, this one, you just save it and you keep it and you could add it to any other shape shift. They got some outside of the waistband, which this is awesome, because that way your gun is on there, and if somebody tried to yank it from you, take it from you, without this being pressed, it's not going anywhere. But it's, with this gun being so small, and you know, this being another 
artifact you gotta have to conceal because it's gonna stick out a little bit i just don't think i'm gonna carry that anyways the original one that comes with it has even about the same amount of tension that has so next i you grab your shell that you just took off the other piece from put this right on Okay, grab the screw that came off of it, grab your Allen wrench, and just screw it back on. And it just screws right back on, make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, after that, you grab your trigger guard, shell. And goes along like that. Grab one of your twist knobs you'd use to take off. And there you go, tying it right up. After that, you just Attach it right on there. Grab this piece. Just slides right on. Grab the other twist knob. And just like that, you went back to the original. And those little knobs are the ones you use to twist. You, you know, you twist it to you know, loosen it up. Less retention. Tighten it up. More retention. So you can play with it. And the cool part I didn't notice is that off the factory this comes on the second hole right here here and here um but you can adjust the cant and you can adjust that the firearm sits lower in your belly band so that's another thing you get to play with and other belly bands they don't have that so you see can see that's got about enough the tension that I need and there you go so that's nice and covered <clears throat> put your extra screw away in your extra parts bag it comes with a little parts bag and it comes with a screw another another twist a little lock and I'm gonna throw my allen wrench in there because never know when I need it but I have that so it's another cool thing about it so now, all I have to do is pull the gun and it's going to come out. I don't have the thumb release anymore. And you could play around with the thumb release. I wasn't a fan of it. So when you get your belly band, loosen it. <clears throat> and on here, see, it's two pockets. And you're just gonna put these in here real quick. Okay, I got one in. And I got the other one in. And there it go. So it's on. And now it just goes like this. And you just adjust it where you want. That simple. So right now you guys are gonna see some clips of how it looks appendix and how it looks on this hip and on the back. All right, so here I have it right on my side, right here. And all I'm wearing is some basketball shorts. And a somewhat loose shirt. But you see a little bit. No need for a belt. On this clip, 
I am wearing it on the back. So you can see And on here, I am wearing it appendix. It is a little bit more noticeable on appendix, but it depends on your body type too. Oh, my gut's gonna stick out a little bit more and you might be 5'10", 110 pounds and got no stomach, who's gonna see it? So. And as you see, here's the belt. You can adjust tension and play.